Hello, my lovely Libras. It's Lori, and I am here to do your soulmate twin flame reading, okay? I am focusing on a soulmate, but if a twin flame shows up, then I'll give you the information on that. All right. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. I'm going to get right into your reading. Let's roll this zodiac die to see who you might be dealing with. We have got... Uh, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, you have shown up in every reading in, for yourself today. Love it. So that was Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, and then Libra. I do see Taurus trying to stick its head out there again. Okay, let's go ahead and find out about your soulmate, your twin flame. What's going on here? Who is it? And is it somebody new? Are you manifesting a new one? Yeah, I have to be able to think. <laughs> Make sure I get my cards out here right. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got going on here. Here's a card to um, describe your soulmate. Oh, they're a perfect match to you. Look at this. They may be another a Libra. Oh, my gosh. You are going to be in perfect alignment with this person. Definitely could be a twin flame. Okay. Wow. Wow. They could be another Libra, but boy, they're going to be in a perfect alignment with you. I'm hearing that they have a very, um, people trust this person implicitly. Like they have proven themselves to be fair, non-judgmental, balanced, inclusive, wholesome. Just real, I'm hearing all these wonderful qualities here which obviously those are your qualities because they're mirroring or are in perfect alignment with yours i do see here that her um scales are actually not balanced here so what i'm hearing with this and i'm seeing if i'm not mistaken she is wearing a mask. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she's definitely wearing a mask. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. But she is wearing a mask. And this is your um, soulmate energy. Okay, this was to describe your soulmate. So they may be hiding something. Some sort of truth. Okay, it, it's the sword is only lit up at the end here. So it tells me that there's something buried that they have maybe not acknowledged or they aren't going to tell you right away. But there's a truth here that will balance the scales, but it's not out, okay? It's something they're holding back. I do feel, I'm hearing from Spirit, that they will reveal this to you because you two are going to be in a perfect alignment, okay? But there is something here right now when you first meet this person that they're you're going you may even feel like what are they keeping from me why don't why do i feel like they're not answering this question or these questions or something it could be anything just feels a little off but even despite that feeling a little off you are really enjoying your time with this person they feel good and you don't feel like whatever it is is like a red flag and i'm not hearing it's a red flag it's more of a cautionary like don't push. Don't push this person. So if you're like, if you ask a question and they kind of skirt around it and they don't answer it, you can ask it again and see if you can get an answer. But I wouldn't go there a third time. That would be enough to turn this person off. They're going to feel like you're prying because they're, they're no, they know that they don't want to talk about that. Okay. So you're not doing anything intelligent there. Yeah. Spirit says to just don't push this person in that aspect. They will reveal it to you in, in the right time, in the right timing. Okay, awesome. So let's look at what um, your past relationship with this person, because I do feel that there is a twin flame soulmate energy. Definitely soulmate at the very least. We'll see if there's twin flame energy. The number two, all about mirroring. Again, the call. You're calling in your soulmate, okay? Okay. <sighs> 
You you may be calling in your twin flame too. You you your energy, your vibration, your clarity. Okay, this is a clarion trumpet. All right. And the notes, the vibrations, the energy that you're you're putting out is very harmonious with this person. Okay, two and two. So you are definitely calling in on a vibrational level, the soulmate or your twin flame. I'm also hearing that some of you involved in this twin flame relationship may be communicating via um, lucid dreaming. You may be visiting each other. You may be sitting in cafes, having conversations in lucid dreams, not in real life, okay? But when you wake, you some of you feel very intensely that you were literally there with that person, okay? And others of you, you may not have any recollection of it. You might remember like waking up and thinking, wow, that was a really good dream. I missed that person or wow, I'm really glad I got to see that person. Something, you know what I'm saying? But you may not remember it fully. Okay, so what can you do? in this relationship to be more open to receiving this person okay what can you do to like bring them in three of cups this came out in your other reading three of cups actually it came out in two readings today so this is my fourth reading for you guys today three of cups this is what you can do you can celebrate life be happy be joyous um, get out there, connect with people. If you're sitting in your home, you're not going to meet this person. And it's crazy. One, two, three. Okay, this is heading you. The divine is pointing you in the right direction. Spirit is heading and pointing you in the right direction. You are receiving synchronicity. So if somebody calls you up and says, hey, let's go to the state fair you need to go, okay? It would probably be to your benefit to go. That may be where you meet your person, okay? Again, clarion trumpets, that's really weird. Renaissance flat, um, fairs, state fair, you know, where there's horns and trumpets and music and loud noises. And I just heard that your call, your voice, your laughter, your Twin flame, your soulmate is going to hear that over all of that noise and find you. And they're going to pinpoint on you. So while you're out celebrating, having fun, enjoying life, enjoying life. Okay, you've got three pearls here. This is awesome. Like you're really, really in awe of the happiness and joy and really good vibrations here. All right, let's see what we have um, next. Let me let's find out something you don't expect about this person. Ooh, the hair font. We skipped four. One, two, three, five. Hello, Sage. This is the hair font card here. This is something you may not know about this person. Um, that they are very religious, very, very either spiritual or religious. Those are two different things, okay? Um, I, I, I think they may have had a very um, traditional religious, organized religion upbringing, but I think that they have elevated beyond that. So they're, they're more spiritual than more religious. I guess that's the best way to put it, okay? So they may have some practices or things that they do that you may not understand, but and that may be what they don't reveal to you right away. I'm not getting anything negative here. I'm getting honoring, um, being in tune with nature, be honoring nature, honoring... Um, ancestors, honoring the higher power, the divinity. So this is this this is just something you're not going to know about them and this may be something that they hold back on for a little while until they get to know you better. 
But keep in mind, you two are on the same vibrational level. So you're calling this person to you because you are a vibrational match. So this is not going to be a something that totally blows you out of the water or anything like this. You're going to be on the same page with them. They just want to make sure that you, um, they know who you are. Okay, look at this. Look at the wings. Look at the wings. Okay, so this is really spiritual. This is really wholesome goodness. Okay, there is really good things happening. Um, and they're going to know pretty quickly that they can connect with you on this level too. That is what the most important thing is about their relationships. Is that the person is in the same vibrational energy that they are in. Okay, that's very, very important to them. All right, let us go ahead and see what we have here. Oh, I can't even, okay, I cannot even. The two of cups, you two are a perfect match for each other. Soulmate at the very least, definitely twin flames. We've got one, we got one, one, two, two, three, and five. And if that's not a four, then there's a four here, okay? There is a four here. There's a four here somewhere. All right, so we've got the Two of Cups. This is definitely a twin flame relationship. That's why I included it before I started because Spirit was already telling me it is most likely going to speak about the twin flame relationship. I, I want to point out here, most of them do not connect on this level in uh, this lifetime, okay? It takes many, 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 many lifetimes for both people to heal from the past, from the traumatic uh, things in their life, to reach a certain vibrational level. But it looks like both of you have. You've elevated. Both of you have elevated past your hurts, your pains, and you are now in a vibrational match. There will be abundance, healing. <sighs> There's no healing left to do. I'm sorry. The healing's already been done. The only thing left to do now is just come together and just enjoy each other's presence. Just enjoy the energy from the other person. Absolutely beautiful reading here. This is incredible. All right. And then we finish with a Ten of Wands. And I'm hearing here that this is about the things that you're going to create together from the things that you have already let go in your life. So you've taken the lesson from the burdens of the past. You've put them to good use. You also, this is about manifesting here. This is about writing your intentions, setting your intentions, and then releasing it to the universe. You two may work spiritually together, okay? All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Yeah, this is about setting intentions, manifesting. Um, you may do some sort of um, releasing rituals on a regular basis or manifestation rituals, such as setting your intentions. Or when you have issues with each other, you may write it down and then just set it afire so the other person doesn't have to know, but you're not harboring those feelings. And if you're both doing this, then your vibration is on the same level. But I, I really do see you talking to each other, communicating. I mean, you're doing it spiritually back here before you actually call your soulmate twin flame to you. You've got the five of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the page of water. Yeah, look at this. I didn't even think about it. Normally, I would probably put this here, but five and five. You've got the ten here. Putting this burden down. You know how to release. This is, okay, letting it go. Putting it in the past. Not holding on to things that could hold you back. Yeah, there's definitely something here about spirituality, prayers, um, 
I keep I keep getting it. I'm going to say it, and I know it's not for everybody, but spells, chanting, um, rituals, and nothing bad. There's no sacrifices or any negative. This is not black magic by any stretch of the imagination. It's about manifesting. Okay, it's about releasing and calling in good powers. I see some of you burning candles that are return to sender, you know, so that you're protecting your, that's what this is. That is what this is. This is mostly about you protecting your space, yourself, your own energies, and then manifesting in what you do want. So you're repelling, you're deflecting. Oh my goodness. That was in today's uplifting reading. If you haven't watched that, you may want to. And that one was called um, Be the Ping Pong Paddle. Be the Ping Pong Paddle. You're going to love that message. All right. So anyways, that's what this is about. This is more about um, just setting intentions. Return to center. No negative energies allowed. Um, I, you know, the, these, this, these are the things I want in my life. Okay. And this is how I release it out there to the universe so the universe can bring it to me. Now, I do have to say here, I couldn't quite figure out what Spirit was telling me with the message, the, the page of water and the page of earth. And what I got from this is these are children, okay? So your person has two children, okay? One of them is a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The other one may be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Now, if that is not your person's children, this these could be your children. One of these children, the, the earth energy children, may feel left out of this relationship. Like, see how these cards here don't fit with the, the cool waters? The energy, the clean, clear. So I'm hearing that we, we there's something that should be done to help this person. Okay, let's see what Spirit wants to bring out on that. So that this child can feel included. Okay, and we, I mean, it's definitely the earth energy one that's feeling isolated, left out in the cold. And look, we have the, okay, wait a minute. We have the page. So these must be the knights. Okay, so these are grown. These are more teenager or adult. I was thinking that these were very young children, um, even possibly grandchildren. But no, these are actually the knights. Okay, so these are teenage or older. They could be adult, 30s, okay? But to help this one feel like they fit in, we have this page of earth, um, a invitation invite them to do something to be included that's all it is just invite them to do something okay and that will actually ground them make them feel better notice there's wings here but this page is standing on the ground okay and what you're doing is honoring the child within this person you're saying i see you i see you look we can build a beautiful future together okay we can build a beautiful future together. So you're including them. And that ends the cycle of them feeling um, isolated, left out, not part of. I'm also getting that this water um, child, okay, however old, may still live with your person or you. And the other one may live with their other parent. And that's why they feel isolated because they're not in the picture as often as the one that's with whoever, you or your person. This person is with their other parent. So that's why they feel isolated. And all, all it's going to take is spending some time alone with them, showing them that you value them. You know, maybe an invitation to go out for lunch. Um Hey, do you want me to come to your soccer game if they're really young? Or, hey, I hear you've got, an, you know, whatever. Just be the one to initiate the um, invitation, okay? Or if they, uh, if they ask you, be sure to attend, okay? Because that will bring that unity and harmony in. It will elevate the relationship. 
It will put any burdens down and start a brand new cycle. I'm loving this message for you guys. This is actually really, really attractive. Very nice. I, I don't usually like Twin Flame readings, but I have to say this definitely feels Twin Flame. You two are coming together in this lifetime. It is going to be a beautiful relationship. Um, again, I have Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Libra. You guys are there. There is a Taurus here. So this may be a Taurus. This could be a Pisces here. We've got your energy with a Libra or Aquarius energy. Okay. So you could be a Libra. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Libra too. This is beautiful. Let's see what messages um, Spirit has using the other Oracle decks. Let's see, I'm going to go right into, Spirit saying go right into the Romance Angels. All right, beautiful message here. All right, Spirit, what would you like to say to this couple here? This is incredible. Yeah, don't forget, if this is resonating with you, go ahead and boop, tickle, tap, like, love. Show some love to that like button. All right. Honor this um, reading. Most twin flames do not get to come together in this lifetime. So please go ahead and give a boop to the like button. If this is you and you know that you are with your twin flame, your uh, soulmate of life, okay, um, new situation like you whatever if you're with them or you know you're calling them in go ahead and let us know in the comments and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel we would love to have you as part of our awesome community so go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that notification button i do these readings once a week okay so i do twin flame soulmate readings once a week i do other love readings i do four readings a day I've Free single day for my lovely Libras. I love you guys to pieces. All right. Keep an open mind about something, and it's right here with this child. So this child may be a little bit different, a little shy. Um, this also says your soulmate may be differ from, different from your usual type and expectations. So that may be here, their practices, their, their spirituality, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the religious factors cards show up here what else spirit what else have you got here playfulness absolutely see and again it's falling out with this child's um energy here so this this child is going to need more attention than this one this one's going to feel very secure happy comforted um this one's going to need grounding okay and i don't mean punishment i mean they need reminding that they're important to this family, to this relationship, okay? Healing family issues. Yeah, I, they may have been hurt by that, by um, the separation, the divorce, the whatever, okay? And this one does actually say, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, but I'm getting that it's just the you forgive your parents for this child, okay? And you helping them. You're going to be helping them to move past that pain of the divorce. They're going to love you. This child's going to find you amazing, okay? Capricorns, uh, Earth Energy, and um, Libras, really good together. Really good. All right, anything else here using the Romance Angel uh, Oracle Messages Spirit? Two more shuffles. Nothing else there. Free yourself. Okay, so if you are in a relationship or anything else, go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get you some Angel Answer Oracle Messages here. So if you'd like to ask specific questions, go ahead and pause the video. I also am going to do yes or no questions at the end using um, my number die here. So if you want to have three questions for yes or no specifically. And if you don't want to ask questions with the angel answer oracles, I'll just give you the messages the spirit gives me. Okay. It's always up to you 
it's your choice how you want to do this. All right. Spirit, what have you got using the angel answer oracles messages here? I just heard, I'm sorry, you have the key to the three, to the unity, to the harmony. Okay, so you've got the key to the three is what I heard. Perfect timing. Your person is coming in in perfect timing. Of course, they're your twin flame. They're your soulmate. Again, angel wings. Beautiful angel wings. Anything else here, Spirit, using the angel answer oracle messages? A year from now, it looks like a wedding to me, a union. Yeah, like putting it out there to the world that you are one. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else using the angel answer oracle messages? Meditation brings answer. And I, I don't know why, but I kept getting that you guys meditated throughout this whole throughout this whole reading. I kept getting meditation. All right. There may be a time for you to take action and you will know. You will receive a sign. All right. You will receive a sign when it's time to take action on something. I think it has to do with this child. All right. Let's see what else Spirit wants to give you. Enchanted map. That's a little different. What message could would you like to give this lovely, lovely twin flame, lifetime soulmate uh, couple using the Enchanted Map Oracle messages? What advice do you have, Spirit? Details, details. Card number 43, which is seven. And look at the colors underneath the justice there. That They just look like they belong together. Okay, I'll, I'll give you more information on that. In fact, it says clarity right there. Important notes. And there's a compass on that card, too. All right, then we got follow the leader, card 40. This is about you being the leader. All right, so we're going to look at those two. Anything else here? 21, field of dreams. Oh, and the compass is on the bottom. Spirit said to take that too. Okay, so we're going to look at card 43 real quick here. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details, so pay attention. This is the time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures, okay, making that offer, or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you are entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. So pay attention to the child, the details. What's happening behind the scenes? Are you going to get along with this person? How are you going to connect with the kids? Pay attention to all these things. Clarity and transparency are key. You can get, gain great understanding by observing the minute body languages Offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. This definitely is talking about this child. Okay, so go ahead and just really connect with this earth um, sign child here. Okay, and then we got 40, which says, follow the leader. Every life is a teaching tool for other people. Your authenticity and your honesty are an example 
to those around you. So how you treat this person, if you're just yourself and you include them in, everything's going to be beautiful. Okay. 21. Field of dreams. Your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential. This is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life. Great abundance is yours if you are willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener and co-create. Be clear about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions that are being imposed upon you by the greater world which has its own story to tell, okay? And we have the world card here. So here you are making this connection and not letting the, the rest of the world tell you how to be with this person. You know how to make this person feel whole. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, for your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. Again, you've got the seeds, you've got the information. You are divinely inspired and protected and guided right now. You will reap what you have sown, okay? So if you treat this child now, early on, well, you will reap the benefits later. So dream big, dream beautiful, take action. Okay, that was on the bottom of the deck. Intend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. Beautiful message there. All right, and then we have 50, card 50 here, which is the compass, which says, as long as you orient your personal compass to true north, which means standing in your authenticity, knowing who you are and being real, not putting on a mask, not hiding things. You, the direction of your high, okay. As long as you orient your compass to true north, that which is your direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. So trusting your intuition, trusting in who you are, knowing who you are, having boundaries. All right, here we go. You are entering uncharted territories right now, and you can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you may need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things that you may experience along your journey. Know that spirit is working in your life. So even if you feel lost temporarily, it, it will be easy to find your way back. Okay, don't stress it. Have faith and trust because your compass with spirit as your true north will ensure that you'll never, ever be lost. Even on a starless night when everything seems dark and dreary. Okay, you will get through it. You will find the answers. Meditation will bring the answers that you need on how to get through any situation you are faced with. Beautiful message there. Spirit wants to give you an L key message. What is this about, Spirit? What is this message? This has to do with your relationship with your Twin flame, soulmate, this child, maybe this other child, maybe your family. It could be, it could, oh my goodness, what have we got here? I can feel it. I can feel the, the message coming through already. Two more shuffles, please, Spirit. Alice, she who grants wishes, wish desires and hope and the color look again the color there's something about synchronicity some of you see words in color like heart might actually be printed in blue lettering or peace might be a bright orange p-e-a-c-e -E. might be bright orange but some of you see color Okay, um, words and color, I should say. 
There was a sidebar message from Spirit. Maybe it's to draw your attention to this reading. Maybe it's so, to let you know that this is for you. All right. Alice, she who grants wishes, dances among the stars in purple and gold. Her eyes gaze downward to catch all the wishes that are being made. While she can't acknowledge every wish, she waits for the ones that truly touch her heart. The wand that she carries displays the bright light of hope that we all send up. This is her energy, her gift, what motivates her to continue her dance and to hold her attitude of listening. Alice tells you to define what you want, okay? Setting your intentions. What is your heart's desire? What are your wishes? Do not answer too quickly because sometimes we wish for a horse and what we truly desire is just a ride. And we end up with a horse and we live in the city in an apartment and have no place for a horse. Okay? Yes, I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> Your duty to yourself is to dig deeply into your own desires. Pay attention to the proverb. Be careful for what you wish for. You just might get that horse. <laughs> so, she who grants wishes requires you to apply discretion before you say what it is you think you want. Before you write it down, make sure you know what all the ramifications of it might be. Make sure it really is what you're looking for. Or could you maybe just... Go a little broader. Instead of saying, I really want a horse, say, I really need just a ride, okay? All right. Alice's goal is not to withhold anything from you. She merely hopes that you will not waste the gift of a wish at any point. This card brings work, but it also brings fulfillment. All right. Was there anything else there, Spirit? We have Breeze. She who surprises, surprise, discovery, and revelation. Breeze. All right, Breeze. She who surprises stands watching at her window. She is singing a song that we can't hear, but the butterflies can. They are attracted to her nature as if she were a living representation of nectar. She is their butterfly queen who can direct them to the sweetest of flowers. She oversees pollination of not only the flora, the flowers, but of human, humankind as well. One of her favorite things in the unexpected discovery. It isn't only the surprise bringing Breeze her happiness, but the feeling of divinity that comes with a marvelous moment of revelation. So flora means plants and flowers, okay, not just flowers. When this card of surprise shows up, expect the, expect the unlooked for moment. If you are receptive to good luck and um, synchronicities, wow, you stand a very good chance of finding the answers that you need. The key here is the message may come in an, in an unusual way. You cannot expect a straightforward response. Rather, look for those things that reveal themselves through patterns or syn synchronicities. Perhaps you see a caterpillar over and over, or maybe a particular butterfly, or a particular name, numbers, whatever it is. Don't worry about it if you don't understand it in the moment. Sometimes discovery comes only after we have assimilated the knowledge deep within ourselves. We must allow the process to unfold naturally. Forcing it may just ruin the moment of the sacred surprise, okay? So if you're seeing that butterfly, enjoy that butterfly in the moment. And then when you take time to relax, the answer will come to you, okay? Awesome there. What else have we got here, Spirit? We're going to do the number die. But let's start with the um, alphabet letters here. Whatever comes out, comes out. If you hear a name... There's a yellow butterfly flitting around out there. Just so you know, a nice, delicate, quick flitting, fun, loving butterfly. Okay, whatever comes out, comes out. If you hear a name and it resonates with you, if it makes sense, if you know somebody with that name, if that's your soulmate, if that's your person, if that's the dream name you always hoped your twin flame or soulmate would have, okay, then it resonates with you. If it doesn't make any sense to you, then just leave it. It's not meant for you. 
All right, let's go ahead and roll the first one. There's six of these dice. So Felix, Fiona, Fig, Paige, Pongo, Hopi, Hoax, like that's not true, that's a hoax. Somebody's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. FB, Firstborn. Oh, it may be their firstborn. It may be the firstborn child. All right. Um, Noah. Okay, I'm hearing I'm hearing a girl's name, Neva. It's it's heaven backwards. Neva, is that how you say it? Because I'm seeing it both ways. Heaven and Neva. It could be the kids' names, it could be your person's name, it could mean something else entirely to you. Nicholas JC Georgette Bovine and the word hi. Like hi. D David Donald Dominic Duke Luke Saint Luke Saint Lucia Sally Rosie Stu like Stuart Maddie Mac LJ Kit I, I'm thinking that's a, a woman's name, Kit. All right. Edward Emily Ems, E-M-S. That is a letterpress printing word. So somebody may do book arts, letterpress printing, something with the book arts, calligraphy, anything along those lines. Um Somebody also may deal with um, dream states. We had something about lucid dreaming. So I'm getting REM state, stage of sleep, REM dream state. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, permits, getting permits. I'm hearing an F name, but I... I it's very faint. Fra oh, Francois. 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 Okay. Poyer. It's a name. P po Poyer. Gray. G-R-E-Y or G-R-A-Y. Grace. And Grams. That could be like my Grams, my grandmother, or like a weight measure. All right, Wally, Wit, W-H-I-T, that, that's a name. Or it could be W-I-T as in somebody's witty. Um, Winifred, Winnipeg. Um, oh, I just heard an Winnebago. Kisses and Hugs. Quickly, quiver, waxen, who, who, that, that can be many different ways, WHO, I'm also getting the um, World Health Organization, um, but I'm also hearing who, who, like an owl or somebody asking who won. So take that as it resonates, okay? The GOP is in here. Um, Vani. Somebody's a vixen. Yeah, I've got another RV. 
Adam, Abigail, Aggie, A-G-I, Fago, Bongo, like a drum, Bongo, but I'm hearing it's a pet's name. I'm seeing a dog. Somebody called their dog Bongo. Fabio. Fabi. Okay, that's what I've got for you guys. Let's go ahead and get your three yes or no answers. I hope that was helpful to somebody out there. It usually is. All right, the first answer, yes or no, one through five is no. Six through 12 is yes. And if I get information from spirit after I roll, I will impart that to you. Otherwise, take it as it resonates. So if you ask a specific question and the answer is no, and that's your answer, okay? You don't have to listen to what spirit says. It may not be for you. All right. First answer is five. Leaving it there. 11. That looks really good. So five was a no, by the way. Five was a top of the line no. So either way. Okay. But it was a no. Um, this is a definite yes. Nine, 11, and 12. So you're heading in the right direction. And your last yes or no answer is a seven. You're headed in the right direction again. So that's a yes. Okay. You have seven, eight, nine, and then you jump a couple steps right up to 12. So once you get the thing rolling, yes, yes, yes. All right. Until our energies cross again. Bye.